Hello and welcome to the sixth in my series of videos documenting the restoration of my family's old Potentium Edner 99V back to at least some of its old glory. In my last video I did a slow power up of the amplifier using my isolation transformer, current limiter and my variac. I was very happy at this point as I didn't release any magic smoke. After that initial smoke test I hooked it up to my PC audio generator and actually got some good sound out of it. I did make one little mistake by setting the audio generator to much too high a level. <coughs> and only Riley could hear it. Once I got that settled out, I was getting some quite good sound out of it. Gotta love that. 60 years old and no hum. The only problem was I had a slight oscillation. So today I'm going to set up to find that oscillation and eliminate it. This time around, I've rearranged the bench a little so you can actually see what the trace is on the oscilloscope. Okay, so let's get on with the video. So for this setup, I've got it coming from my isolation transformer. Way up there. Going down to my dim bulb tester. Coming across, so nicely taped down into the input of that. I got my oscilloscope on the bench so you can see what I'm doing. My dummy load is connected to there. I've also got it connected out to a pair of speakers. There, into the background, way over there, I've got my audio generator, which is coming off the computer. Which, of course, I'm making a good chance of blowing my computer up, but yesterday I fixed that. So it should be okay. Notice how I have everything typed down, cleaned up. I've got it a nice piece of wood in case it does smoke up. This time around, I'm not using a Variac because I've already tested it and it doesn't smoke when I power it up. So this is basically a full systems test now. I did have some funny oscillations the other day, which I'll try to catch on the oscilloscope today. They might be there, they might not. We'll see. So we'll put that in there. Alright. Turn the power on. I should be getting twenty volts. That's not right. It's still not right. Curses. So in the end, after about 20 minutes of fidgeting around, I discovered that the breaker bar has a little crack in it. In other words, it's just so old it's beginning to fall apart and I can't get the pressure on it I need. Yeah, well, I'll have to fix that somehow. The oscilloscope says. Not getting a signal on channel one. Oops. So you can see. Here I've got one that's slowly bouncing up and down. And the other one's rock steady, which is strange. Uh, let's see which one's which. I wish I had a color. my little magic button. Let's see what we get. Okay, so one 
249. Mm, so one tube is definitely weaker than the other tube. Oh wait, that's a lot closer. There must be a difference in the box. This box is not doing good. In other words, I've got the change in that box. Let's yeah, auto scale that. <laughs> not what I wanted. There we go. 200, 200. Offset minus 25, minus 25. I don't think there's any phase inversion, just very slight. Frequency channel 1. 60 hertz. Uh, fourteen point nine millivolts. Uh, yeah. But I think that's a char capacitors charging, discharging. The second capacitor, discharging, charging, discharging, charging, discharging. So that might be just an ordinary ripple on this. focus in there. I goofed up the wiring just a little bit and have those muddled in there like that. What I'm going to do is move them around so they're all nice and straight going over the top of each other each way and that might get rid of a little bit of the differences between the two channels. So let's give that a shot. So I redressed all my wires so they're all nice and neat in there. I don't think it's going to matter much because they were fairly neat to begin with. So let's give it one more test with these two nice tubes. Whoa! Kind of makes a difference. So setting up setting up for the first actual audio test using a record hooked up to the turntable. The turntable's not going to run right because the belts aren't in correctly. First thing, I'll take it off 78, put it on 33, so it knows where it is. Got the turntable, buck sheet into the amplifier, through those wires, oops. And then going up to my dummy load, up there, and back down to my speakers, which are down below. So, that's, uh, got the breaker bars in. A little power. Yeah. 
I've carefully run the wire so they don't go over. They hopefully don't go over. Anything interesting? Any power outlet? So as I thought, it was our damn breaker bars not hooking in correctly. Turn up the volume. A little scratchy there. Let's see if the turntable works. Well, looks like it was a showstopper. The head, she's a dead. Let's see if we can get a picture of it on here. Couldn't get anything out of it. And then when I was taking it apart, if you notice, here, 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 and here, it was all stuck together in there. And when I so much had twisted it the wrong way, it all just fell apart. So I think, to start, this head is dead. Anyway. I'm gonna have a hard time. Let me zoom in. You can maybe see it. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, there we go. So yeah. So there's two feet here, which were plastically molded in there, and that molding is broken in there. This one I saw was broken, and then as I was trying to get in there to look at the needles. This one broke off totally, and then when I was looking a little closer, that one broke off. And you can tell they're glued in there, basically solid tight, and there's no way I'm going to be able to get them in there. Maybe some epoxy to glue it back in, but if the head is dead anyway, electrically dead, which I think it is, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about this. But it's a good chance to look at it and see what's going on. Anyway, we'll see if the head is dead anyway. So I want to see if I have any power at all or getting anything out of that head. Now I can tell now I'm getting connection. You can hear that. So I'll just pick it up with a little insulated screwdriver here so I don't cause anything. Any problem? And then run. Get off of there. No, nothing. Dead quiet. Nah, it's one hundred percent dead. Oh well, they don't call this the Adobtanium project for nothing. So, on to the next project. Yeah, well. Riley, are you going to come downstairs again and help me with my project, or you just want to sit here in the sun? Come on, Riley, you can come and give me a hand. I know you like my projects. No? Yeah, looks like you're going to fall asleep. Would you like a cookie instead? No. You just want warm weather. You hate this winter. Alright. Talk to you later, Riley, my little nipper.